Mads Mikkelsen wanted to speak to Johnny Depp before Fantastic Beasts 3? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'll be honest, I was hard on Mads Mikkelsen when we took the gig because I said exactly this, that the man should have reached out to Johnny Depp before taking the role. Maybe he watched the video, in which case, Mads, good for you for putting this out there and explaining yourself because he has now made some comments uh, yesterday, made some comments talking about how the fact that he would have loved to talk to Johnny Depp about replacing him in the franchise. Now, he did this uh, article, uh, I'm trying to figure out where this originally came from first, uh, but uh, it doesn't say. Anyway, uh, talking about the problem, the controversial issue of replacing, he tried to pay no attention to the speculation surrounding his predecessor. He said, I mean, obviously they were going to do the film, and obviously he was not involved anymore, but I didn't have a dog in that fight, and I don't know what happened in his private life, and I don't know if it was fair, him losing his job, but I just knew that the show was going on, uh, but I would have loved to have talked to him about it if I'd had the chance, uh, but I just don't know him in that sense. Come back to that in a second. Uh, but they called me, and they were obviously in a hurry, and I loved the script, and so... I said, yes. And I know it was controversial for many people, but that's just the way it plays out once in a while. Now, he has previously said that he wanted his take to obviously be nothing like Johnny's. Uh, he said he wanted to put his own take on playing Grindelwald as he thinks it would be creative suicide to just mimic Johnny Depp's performance. And he's right. Uh, he told uh, the Sunday Times uh, on Saturday, I didn't want to copy what Johnny had done. I think he's a masterful actor. So copying him would have been creative suicide. I had to figure out something that was definitely my own. And yet also act as a bridge to what he had done. My take is different and the look is a little different, but we'll have to wait for the film's release next year to find <coughs> out. Now, two things I want to get on. I want to talk about the state of Fantastic Beasts 3, which I've heard some more on, but also I want to go back to the sense of I just don't know him in that sense. I mean, do you believe this is what I'm curious to you guys. Where, where do you sense? Does this give you, does this give you a, him like a little Mads? Does this make you, uh, you know, respect Mads a little bit more or do you not buy this? I mean, so here's my, where I'm saying. It's very easy for agents to talk to agents. Now, Johnny may not have wanted to talk to him, but I don't know. I bet you Johnny would have been open. I, I think, I'm speculating here, you'd think Johnny would respect that. But what's Johnny going to say? Yeah, take my job. It, it, it's, it's a weird spot to be in for Mads. And Mads makes a point here, too. They were obviously in a hurry. So he had to make this sort of decision quickly, and he just didn't know Johnny to be able to like, call him directly and sort of have an honest chat. So getting your agent to reach your agent or trying to find his number, I, I, I can see why that would have been not the easiest thing to do in the world. From what I'm told, they did try to cast this very quickly, and they sort of gave Mads like a choice. You want you in or out? We got we to gotta, we cast this tomorrow, uh, yesterday. Um, and so, you know, he got a chance to look at the script. He could have attempted to try. Maybe, maybe, he, maybe he did, and just, he's not admitting that. He doesn't want to say, like, Johnny ignored him. Um, that would, cause that would be a bad look. Um, but, uh, he's acknowledging, Hey, look, I would have loved to talk to him. I would have loved to sort of get, get a little side. Now he also sort of explains like he doesn't know whether, you know, he was innocent or guilty. He clearly just didn't do any homework again, clearly also acknowledging he hasn't had much time to, but since he's admitting, I know it was controversial for many, but that's just the way it plays out once in a while. I feel like he's acknowledging, look, I, I know a lot of you were mad at me, but he got to understand this was a good script. I, I wanted to work. It was a good role. I know they were casting him. I knew he was out. Someone else is going to do it anyway. I took the gig. Uh, I would have liked to talk to him, though. I do like to, he's been he's been very open about talking about Johnny, which I do respect. A lot of these actors don't even want to mention his name. So the fact that Mads keeps bringing this up as part of the issue, I got to respect him there. So I, I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, in fact, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, I'm going to talk about Fantastic Beasts 3 again uh, while I have you guys here. But before we do that, just a reminder to please hit that subscribe button. Also, double check that you're subscribed. You can hit the bell for all alerts to ensure you get alerts. Uh, smash the like button and leave your thought down below. And do you give Mads a pass here? Does this make you feel better about his replacing of Johnny at all? Uh, or do you feel like, eh, he still could have figured out a way to reach out? What, what, is, is there anything he could say to, to get your respect back? Uh, I'm curious. Now, previously we had reported that, yes, Fantastic Beasts is in trouble. Now, this is another uh, source out there. This, this source has gotten some, some stuff correct, I got to say. This viewer, a non-person. And uh, same things I've heard. Now, now, I've heard more specifically, because I saw a lot of people sort of Fantastic Beasts fans coming at me saying, no, it's going to be great. Look, I, I'm not wishing this to be poor. You know, I, I wasn't a huge fan of the first two, full, full disclosure. Uh, and I, just because they, they took out Johnny, I don't, I don't wish anything to be a failure, but... 
I wouldn't cry <laughs> if it was, given how ridiculous and hypocritical Warner Brothers was in, in, in trying to get rid of him. I don't have a dog in this fight other than that, and I don't know anything about the story. I mean, I, 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 it's not one I've been following. Um, but from what I've heard from people who have worked on it, yeah, it's, it's a mess. Uh, it's a mess in that apparently other actors are being uh, thought about replaced or wanting to leave. They're not wanting to do the reshoots. They need to do reshoots. Uh, there, there's a lot of problems and they can't get these actors back for reshoots. I'm told because of just scheduling of now every production is now like there's so many productions happening because of, uh, of the delays and, and pandemic and everything, uh, that they're really worried about how, how long it's going to take to get this fixed. Can they get this fixed? The studio, the people in charge of the money aren't happy. Now there's been some producers or people out there who've tried to like do damage control, but the people out there doing damage control are clearly out there trying to protect their investment because they make money on the film's success. So tanking the film beforehand isn't going to help. And, the, the, oh, Andy, these sources, where they come from? My sources have been pretty damn good so far, and multiple people I've, I've seen with other good sources out there, they're all confirming this report. So now it doesn't mean they couldn't fix it and surprise us still, and the movie ends up being a big hit. But from the studio side, what I'm hearing is they are not happy with what they've seen so far, what they've gotten. It's they, they realize this franchise is not going to keep going up. They want to just end this thing. And I, I'm, I'm told there's even been talk of like, how do we just make in reshoots or whatever, wrap this franchise up with this film. And then the question of, does this even get a theatrical release? Will this go straight to HBO max? They know the Johnny Depp fans are mad. Um, and, and so overall, you know, JK Rowling fans are mad. They just know that this is a, kind of a cluster they need, they need to reevaluate how they handle the wizarding world of harry potter moving forward making sure jk rowling is not involved or are they going to commit and say you know what she is we, we uh, jk rowling's whole controversy it's is its own thing guys so the fact that they got the jk rowling controversy the johnny depp issue with a lot of fans feeling very frustrated that they got rid of him and not amber and then you got that coupled with the fact that the shoot actually is, had, is filled with problems. Whether the Mads Mikkelsen connection works, does the does the bridge from one to the other work, or is that confusing? Coupled with other issues of they need to reshoot and they keep, the actors don't even want to come back. Um, lots of frustration here. Imagine being these actors and knowing Johnny Depp got paid more, and they didn't even get to show up. They just paid him off for what? And I know some of those actors, Jude Law, have said they were sort of they were frustrated to see that gone, and that was definitely unusual. So this this movie is turning into a <laughs> wizarding mess. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens to it. Maybe it could still find its way. Uh, will it be on HBO Max? Will it make it theatrical? Will this be the end of the franchise? Will there be Fantastic Beasts 4, 5, 6? I know they were trying to make this a huge franchise, but the movies have never been that. They, they have not made Harry Potter money. Let's be clear. These these movies did okay. They, did, they definitely didn't, weren't bombs. But these were not the massive successes that Warner Brothers was hoping them to be. And so I imagine them seeing part three and realizing, oh, this is not any better, is not making anybody feel good. So uh, stay tuned. We shall see how this all plays out. But in the meanwhile, what is your thought on Mads Mikkelsen? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Make sure you leave them. Check out these videos as well. Appreciate you guys so much. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. Be sure to get the word out on these videos. Thanks, everybody.